guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this diamond shape twist stitch earrings. They're easy to make and when I show you how you make this small element you will be able to use it in different projects like uh, bracelets, uh, necklaces, earrings, also rings and whatever you like. And I also have a tutorial for a bracelet and I'm linking to it here. And uh, that is why it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell because you will be notified for my new tutorial. And sometimes I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And in this way you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. There, there in description you will find a full list of materials, links for Amazon where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Hey guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 oz seed beads. You could use 10 oz if you want. Here I use ear wires in this beautiful copper color. And this is Nemo beading thread that is 0.2 millimeters thick. And this is size D. I use also size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are round nose pliers if I need to fix my ear wires but they are not obligatory. Okay, and now I'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, and now I have 60 centimeters of thread on my needle or this is two feet of thread. And I'm going to start by picking up 12 beads, six golden and six red, and I'm going to alternate them. Okay, and now I have my 12 beads here, 6 golden and 6 red, and I'm going to slide all of those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and I'm going to make a knot here. Okay, and I'm going twice here through this loop I've made, and I pull, and now I'm going to make one more knot. Make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and pull. Okay guys, now this is what I have. And in my next step, my goal is to exit out of a red bead. Okay, I'm exiting here. Okay, and in my next step, I'm taking two red beads and one golden. I'm skipping this golden bead here and I'm going in the following red. Okay, and I pull. Then I'm taking again two reds and one golden. Like this, I skip the next golden. And I pull. Okay, again two reds, one golden, skip the following golden, and go here, and pull. Take two red beads and one golden. Skip the golden and go in the red one. Then take two red beads and one golden, like this. Skip the golden and go in the next red one. And pull. Two reds, one golden, like this. Skip the golden and go in the red one. And now I'll, I go in this red and in the following golden. And what I need to take are two golden beads 
and go in the last red one here. And pull. Then go in the next golden. Take two goldens. Go in the last red. Like this. And my goal is to exit out of the next golden. Okay, two goldens. Go in the red and in the following golden, if you can, even in one movement. And do this three more times. Okay guys, and now I'm exiting out of this red one. And in my next step, what I need to take are three red beads. I'm going in the last golden. Then again, my goal is to exit out of the next red one. And take three red beads. Okay. And I'm going in the golden, and if I can, I will go also in the red in one movement. Okay, as you may see, I alternate the colors, and in every next row, I add one more bead. Okay, here I'm up to three beads in a row. Okay, go through the golden and through the red one. Okay. And now, guys, I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay, and in my last step, I'm exiting out of this golden. And this time, I'm starting with the golden color and I will pick up four beads. You remember one more bead in every row and alternate, okay? I'm going through the red and through the following golden. The color I'm using, I'm exiting out of it before starting to pick up beads, okay? Now I take four beads, go in the last bead of my other color and also in this golden in order to continue my golden spiral and I'm going to take four golden beads and go in the red and in the following golden okay now guys, I'm going to continue these three more times of camera and when I'm up to here, I'll meet you to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last four beads from this row. And what I'm going to do next is reinforce the edges of my work. Okay, and I'm doing it by going around through all of those edges because I want my element to stay nice, tight and firm. Okay, and uh, I will do this off camera and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and Okay, I will flip my work this way. And my goal, guys, is to exit here out of this golden bead. And now here, guys, I'm going to attach one of my ear wires to this element, okay? Let's say this one here. And I'm going to correct it with my pliers a little bit. You might not need to correct it, but I don't want to have a hole here and my thread to go out of my ear wire, okay? That's why I'm correcting it. Okay, and now guys, I'm going to take four of these beautiful golden beads 
and I'm going to take my ear wire like this and I will go through this okay and slide down and now guys I will go here through these two golden beads in this direction and when I pull and fix it this is what I have and now I'm going to reinforce this part going around okay and here I want to make a knot and cut my thread okay and I'm making here a knot by making a loop going twice through this loop I made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull then I will go in my following seed bead like this and I'm going to cut my thread okay guys and you could leave your earring like this but I prefer to make a larger earring that is why I will make three more elements and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I just did three more elements two of them I made a knot and cut my thread and the third one I still haven't cut my thread and I'm going to assemble all of those elements together okay and I'm going to start by picking up the first two elements and I'm going to connect them okay in the same place okay I'm exiting out of this bit this is one bit away from the uh, one golden bit away from this red one and I will go here in the next seed bit in the same place of my next element okay and I'm going to pull and one more time okay like this then guys in my next step what I want to do is exit out of here out of this golden bead okay let me focus and in order to do this I will go back in circle to all of those beads okay and I'm exiting here now I will take my next element and what I want to do is connect this bead to this one okay I will do this the same way I'm going here and I'm reinforcing okay and I will flip my work in this direction and now guys I will go through those beads and exit here out of this golden and I'm going to connect this one to this one okay going here in this golden bead pulling then back through here and I will go several times back and forth okay guys now 
what I'm going to do is exit here in this golden bit and now it's time to add my last element okay and I want to connect it in the same place where I was connecting my other C bits okay going here slide this down go back and reinforce okay and after i reinforced my goal maybe you guess what it is to go through all of those beads here in this direction and exit in the same place where I'm connecting all of my elements. I'm exiting here out of this golden, which is the second golden, counting after this red one here, okay. After the red one, one, two goldens, I'm exiting out of the second golden, okay. And I'm doing the same thing connecting and reinforcing okay guys and you could go do some reinforcement of your work and if you feel it's too soft you could use monofilament for this project and when i'm ready i will go make some knots and cut my thread and my earring will be ready Okay guys, and now my diamond shaped twist stitch earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find full list of materials Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye for me.